Welcome, welcome, welcome. What's up, Eric? You're the first one to chat, so let me know if you can see me, hear me. If everything looks good to you, then it's good to me. <clears throat> everything. Everything. VA Prepper, what's up? We're going to go with the uh, the hunting version. Jason McDaniel, what's going on? The winner of last week's giveaway. Kelty Red Wing, 44, good pack. I like Kelty packs. Um, someone else... I just, someone else was able to get, what's up, same old 77? Somebody else just got a Kelty pack off of uh, Marketplace for like 40 bucks, and it was like used once. So, it's a pretty good deal. I know it's not bush. It's not in a frosty glass like Bill Gotti would like it, but it's going to take taste good because it's been a long day. So, how is everybody doing? I apologize for last week. I got back from backpacking, um, and uh, I was just too wiped out to do the live stream. I did bring my pack down here that I took, though, and uh, if you guys are interested in it, I can show you guys what I took. Uh, this would be my fall, fall backpacking loadout, 12-pound uh, base weight, so that's pretty dang light for... Uh, for a fall loadout. Now when you say base weight, that basically is everything except your um, everything except your consumables. So it's not going to include water, it's not going to include your food, it's not going to include your fuel, whether it's a canister or whether it's I took a little alcohol stove so it would include the little alcohol. And I didn't include things that would be on me like I took a little flashlight that was in my pocket. I took a Skeletool that was clipped on my pocket. Um, trekking poles, and then, um, my, uh, just, you know, my camera gear. So I didn't, I didn't factor that in because I'm going to, I'm going to have more, uh, more, uh, more camera gear than the average person. But 12 pound base weight, you know, it's pretty dang light. Um, and, you know, you really got to have your big three as light as possible. So you got to have your pack, number one, you got to have a super light pack. Um, this pack weighs like 30 ounces. It's made from uh, Dyneema, I think. Um, it's from Hyperlite Mountain Gear. You know, you're going to pay for these packs because they are super light. And generally, you're going to get these from cottage vendors. So you're going to get them from Hyperlite Mountain Gear, Z-Packs, ULA. Um, I have another pack coming from uh, Superior Wilderness Designs. VA Prepper right off the bat with a $10 donation. Right off the bat with a $10 donation. What's up with that? Thank you so much, sir. Let me set this down and get you up on the wall of fame behind me. As you can see, we have a few names on the wall of fame. Anybody that donates. I have backpacks. I have uh, fire. I have pots. I have flashlights. I think I'm out of knives. i got to print more knives up. Um, i got tents. What would you like, sir, Mr. V.A. Prepper? What's up, Yakalope? What's up, Alex Shane? Mark, it is light, especially for a fall pack. My summer pack is under 10 uh, base weight. Let me know, V.A. Prepper, and I'm going I'm to put you up on the wall. Um, so, yeah, the, the pack is where you got to start. You got to have a, uh, all right, he wants the fire. All right, let me get him up here. V.A. Prep. I apologize the camera's shaking because this table sucks. I gotta get a different table here. VA Prepper is going up. If I can get this tape to work. Going up on the donation wall. Put you right next to the other fire there. VA Prepper, thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Um, so back to the pack. It starts with an ultralight pack. A lot. What's up, MK? A lot of times you got to go to a cottage vendor. Mainstream brand brands aren't going to be light enough. Um, that's pretty much going to go for your quilts and your uh, shelter as well if you want to go really ultra light. So you're going to pay a little bit more, but they are these are like custom made. 
you can have them made any any way you want you can see it has no you know there is no top lid to it what's up carlos no top lid it's all made of lightweight materials it does have a frame in it and you can go frameless like in summertime i'd go frameless because i'm carry, i'm carrying less than 10 pounds so um it, i would go frameless but yeah these are rocks these are rock solid packs um, people on the PCT, the ACT, all the long hiking tra trails, you'll see them with these packs. Cuban fiber, it's waterproof. Um, so that's where it starts. And then your second part of the big free is obviously your shelter. So whether you choose to go with an ultralight tent or even a tarp in like a bug net. Um, in the fall, bugs aren't really uh, any, aren't that really a big a deal. So um, you can go that route in the fall. But uh, I choose my hammock. So I have my hammock. And then I have a top quilt and an under quilt. My hammock is from um, Simply Light Designs. And then a uh, my top quilt and bottom quilt are from right here in uh, Jackson, uh, Michigan from uh, Underground Quilts. Alex Shane with another $10 donation. Pick your, pick, your, uh, pick your icon up there. And if you guys are already up there, I believe Alec is. Yeah, Alex, you're already up there. So you have a, uh, a pot if you want another pot. What's up, Irish Nation? Irish Zombie Nation? One of the live streams. <laughs> Better not suck. Yeah, I hope it doesn't suck. All right, so let me get Alec up on the wall. What Which one you want this time, Alec? Let me know while I refresh myself here again. What's up, Tom? Good evening to you. Carlos with the 25... Am I going to get anything done tonight, guys? I mean, you guys are nuts, man. Nuts. Can't even get a sentence out, and Carlos comes with the $24.99. And I don't have any knives for you, uh, Carlos. Alec Shane. So, Carlos, you're going to have to pick something up. Hi from Venez a Venezuelan fan. Garcia. Kate Garcia. That is fantastic. Let me put Alec right up here with his other one there. Carlos, I have no knives. Never win. I'll ship to you in Panama. You will be entered in as well. Anyone who types in chat, uh, your name is automatically entered in for the giveaway that is at the end of the uh, live stream. We'll go over the... Uh, the prize that we're actually going to do two. We're going to do two today. So stick around for that. We're going to do two drawings today. Cake. I'm hope I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I have tents. I have backpacks. I have fire. I have flashlights. I have pots. Your name will go up on the wall of fame. Just let me know what you want. Carlos, right there by his others. Carlos, thank you, sir. Uh, cake, I'll get you up in there in a moment. Let me get back to this pack here. <clears throat> so, uh, so yeah, so, you, you know, people say that, oh, you know, ultralight, you're a sissy and this and that, but you can go further. Like, we did 11 miles the first day, uh, 7 miles the next day, and you could just keep on going. Um, I did skip a week, Billy. Yep, I skipped a week. So, um... So going ultralight is the way to go for sure if you can afford it. You know, once you know what you want in gear, you can upgrade, of course. That's kind of the name of the game. People that love gear like myself, you're always upgrading. I, and you really need to get out there and do, you know, use your stuff. And then, and then you'll learn what you like, what you don't like. But those grams seriously do add up to ounces. Those ounces add up to pounds. Um, you know, I'm not as crazy as like drilling holes in my toothbrush, but the stuff really does add up. For example, um, I can save like two or three ounces just by going from for, to, to a different suspension on my uh, hammock system. So, you know, it might not seem like much, but if you're saving two, two, three ounces here, two, three ounces there, all of a sudden you're saving pounds. And, you know, it just allows you to have a better time out there. It allows you to go uh, further faster. And especially in the fall months where you got more clothing, you got, you know, more insulation as far as your uh quilts go or your sleeping bag goes or your shelter goes so you know it, that stuff really adds up in the uh in the cooler months so 
Okay, Lama, what's up? Todd, what's up? Milwaukee Overnight Hiker, what's up? Joey Care, Josh, what's up? Gadsden, what's up? 33 people in chat. I think the most we've ever had a live stream is 60. So maybe we'll hit that tonight. So let me uh, let me crack open the uh, the pack here. As I mentioned, this is not going to uh, include consumables, which is water, food, uh, gas, or fuel, um, and little items like I had. I brought the little Through Night Ti3. It weighs next to nothing. Um, you can clip it on your hat as a headlamp. So it's an all it's an awesome piece of gear that doesn't cost a fortune. Um, takes one AAA. So definitely um, that's an awesome piece. And then I took. I uh, don't think I have it down here, but I took my Skeletool and that was clipped to my pocket. So in the pack here, and generally with a pack, you want to pack your heaviest items in the middle here, in the middle section, and closest to your back. You don't want to have a bunch of heavy stuff that's going to weigh you down up top. You know, you don't want to have a bunch of heavy stuff. Usually your shelter components are going to go on the bottom. So for me, I have my quilts stuffed into the bottom. I have, normally I'll put my cooking stuff in the middle, but since I went ultralight, I have like my hammock and tarp there and then I have just my extra stuff uh, up there. So um, let's see, pop the top on this bad boy, can't drill holes in the girlfriend, right. I'm going to set this down <clears throat> and it's like a roll top closure and so it's got, uh... yeah your daughter right, uh, did I miss it? Yes. Celebrating your beautiful daughter. Go have fun. All right, so right up top here I have, as I mentioned, the cook uh, set that I took. Um, so this is the Evernew Titanium set. Comes with a real lightweight mesh bag. You could ditch the mesh bag if you wanted to save something, but kind of keeps it all in, in one spot. This one actually comes with a mug on the bottom, which you could ditch that as well, and that would save weight. But I like to have a drink at the same time that I'm eating, and usually I'll eat right out of this pot. So I can do like hot chocolate or coffee in this, and then I can do, you know, boil water for a dehydrated meal or something, or do rice, a rice side or something in this. So inside here I just have a, uh, a mini Bic lighter, and then I have my white box alcohol stove and uh, windscreen. So this is super lightweight, and then I would have had my, um, my alcohol for the, uh, the stove. I took three ounces, usually I can get... Um, close to a rolling boil with an ounce of fuel in this stove um, and close is all I care about if it's close to a rolling boil I'm not I'm not using this to um, you know purify water I'm just simply using it to heat water up so as long as it's close to boiling that's fine with me so that's the the stove set I took um, I actually went with um, Jonathan Deering Deering knives um, I've spoke a lot about him on the channel he makes awesome knives um, we met at the bushcraft thing up in northern Michigan, and so we actually went, went on a hike together. And that, that video is actually on uh, Living Survival 2, if you guys want to check that video out. It's pretty funny. We had a good time. Um, so this is my uh, cook kit. Oh, and I had, a, I had a spoon, too, or a spork in there, too. Uh, what's up, Todd? Um, next thing is kind of just a possibilities bag. This is in a uh, Sea to Summit. Um, like one of their Ultra Sill super lightweight uh, bags. What's up, Alan? Yeah, we're just kind of going over what I took on the previous hike. So I just reviewed this. This is the CNOC water bladder. Check that video out. It works with the Be Free filter. So, you know, super lightweight filter. You can actually get these to work with the Sawyers too. What's up, Mr. J? Um, but awesome way to have two liters of water at camp that's nice and clean. Um, I've got sort of my poop kit here, just some uh, toilet paper without the, uh, without the cardboard in it and some hand sanitizer. Um, in this bag here I've got like a travel toothbrush, some toothpaste, some moleskin, um, a couple of those pop-up wipes that work as uh, as um, little cloths. I've got some Imodium. I've got some uh, usually yeah I got some Tylenol in there so kind of like a little small first aid kit slash toiletry type kit. Um, I brought four ultralight titanium steaks. Oh here's my spoon. It's my spoon from Human Gear. It's basically it comes apart and it becomes a 
spoon and a fork, but you can also use it like, you can also uh, click it like that and it becomes a long spoon for those dehydrated meals or a long fork for like working on a fire or something. So pretty cool. It's pretty lightweight. I think it actually weighs just as much as uh, like one of my titanium sporks. So. so I took that. So that was pretty much all I had in my sort of possibilities little bag here. What's up, Elsid? Hey, Cake, let me know if you didn't post it in chat or somebody that might have seen it, what sticker you want on the, on the wall there. I don't want to forget you. And I appreciate your donation for sure. Alright, let me get this stuff back in here so it's not all over the place. Alright, so that's that bag. And then, as I mentioned, the uh, my food bag wasn't in there. And my food bag is just another one of those Ultra Sill um, Sea to Summit uh, bags. And I just actually have a mountain house that I, did, that I didn't eat. That was going to be lunch the next day, but we hiked out so fast that we did the seven miles pretty quick. Just had it as a backup. So that would be my food bag, and that would go in my pack, but it doesn't count towards your, your base weight. All right, so it was cold. So it was actually um, raining when um, we went in, so we were wearing ponchos. I took my Bushcraft Outfitters uh, Mest poncho, I believe it is, and John had a Sea to Summit uh, Ultra Sill uh, poncho and of course now I want that ultra sill poncho because that thing is super lightweight and it worked good um, but I did take my puffy just my black diamond uh, puffy coat so you know again fall you're gonna add some weight but this is pretty lightweight um, I ended up just wearing this at night because it did get chilly at night got down to about 35 at night um, then I have my clothes bag which again is in a sea to summit ultra sill um, uh, dry bag. It's not a dry bag, but it's just a stuff sack. A lot of people will use this as a pillow. So stuff your clothes in a stuff sack and you can it can double as a pillow. Um, so this one actually has a roll top. I use this for my clothes. And basically what I took for clothes was um, a pair of warm socks for camp. Um, I won't pull it all out, but basically there's just a t-shirt that I, I hiked in. <coughs> Excuse me. A, uh, one of these kind of like, I don't know, athletic t-shirts. And then I had a athletic long sleeve and then a pair of um, just the smart wool uh, long underwear. I think that's it. And that's all I had. And then, it, it, oh, I did have this little, <clears throat> this little beanie too. Just a little hat. Um, smart wool hat. So that's really all, all I had. I wore, I wore the warm socks at camp. Um, I had the puffy coat on until I jumped into my hammock. And uh, wore the long underwear and not uh, just didn't wear my pants, just tried it around in the long underwear. What's up, D? What's up, uh, Chaucer? Gadsden, what's up? Yeah, it's a sweet filter. Alright, so that was that's my um, clothes bag. Then next I have my hammock, which is a Simply Light Designs trail layer. I have a review on it. Great hammock. Um, I use this in the summer and the winter. It's pretty lightweight, and again, I'm gonna I'm gonna be switching from the I have uh, cinch buckles, but I'm gonna be switching to whoopee slings because they're a little bit a uh, little bit lighter weight, so I can save some weight there. I did actually bring my down pillow for my hammock. This just sets kind of behind me. Um, it does work as a pillow, but it also keeps my head um, nice and warm because my under quilt comes to my shoulders, so this keeps my head nice and warm. And um, it's down, so it fluffs up when you, uh, if I, you know, just undo the little thing here and it, give it a minute, and it'll get all nice and fluffy and warm. Weighs nothing. Um, do I always go alcohol on ultralight? I don't always go alcohol on ultralight. I go alcohol in the winter because the um, isobutane stoves can get pretty finicky. So I'll either go um, with the alcohol stoves, which are super light, super easy. Um, or I'll just take like a uh, like a firebox nano or something But you know again when you're backpacking a lot of times you just want to go light and fast. So um, 
it's easier in my opinion just to carry a few ounces of um, alcohol and uh, than it is to, to find sticks and, and keep a you know keep a little wood fire going since all I'm really doing is heating up water. I'm not really cooking on it, I'm just heating up water. Um, all right, and then I have my tarp, which is actually pretty dang heavy. This is probably one of the heaviest things in my bag because it is my winter dream tarp from Underground Quilts. Um, it's, a, it's a tarp that goes down both sides and it's got the doors on both sides. I actually loved that I had this um, this past trip though because it was really windy. We, we camped uh, right by a lake, so the, the wind was just whipping off the lake and it was just whipping all night, so I was able to close those doors on the end and um you know yeah so but it is a pretty pretty heavy light in this or heavy tarp in the summertime i take a just a super light like featherweight tarp and that works uh good and then the only other thing i have left down in here is both my quilts and i didn't even put these in a stuff sack so this is my 20 degree quilt from underground quilts and these you know they're down so they stuff you know they stuff really easily and since my pack itself is waterproof there's really no reason to carry the extra weight for the stuff sack so i just stuff them both down in here and right below that it's so stuffed in here that it doesn't even want to come out um this is my bottom quilt awesome quilt from underground quilts they made it in one of their new their new their new colors here um zero degree zero degree uh under quilt so between the 20 degree top quilt and the zero degree under quilt i was nice and warm and chaucer with the 20 dollar donation checking in get a cold one take whatever sticker you got i'll drink to that i call him fox i'm just gonna call you fox from now on <sighs> awesome it is the Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm going to give you, what do you got so far? Because I know you're up there. You've got a backpack. We might as well just give you another backpack again. Um, the name of the tarp was the um, Winter Dream Tarp by Underground Quilts. Um, Underground Quilts is local here in, well, in Jackson, Michigan. A U C E R F. A U X. I actually put the F A U X up there. So he's going up on the wall. Thank you so much for that donation, sir. We're just gonna play uh, Connect Four with your uh, with your things there. Um, yeah, a Cuban fiber tarp. It's actually just a silk nylon tarp, so it's pretty light. It's not a Cuban fiber tarp, so you could save some weight there. But that's pretty much it. Twelve pound base weight. Um, that's fine by me in the um, in the uh, in the cooler months. The only thing I would change maybe in the winter would be warmer clothing. So that's going to add weight. Um, more layers. That's going to add weight. And then I'd probably go with a, a zero degree top quilt, which wouldn't add a whole lot more than the twenty degree. Um, or I might switch to a pad in a in a a tent for winter. Um, but yeah, I was happy with that. I can carry that amount of weight all day long. When you add your food, your water, um, we only went for two days, so I didn't need much food. Um, we carry, we each carried a liter, or I, I carried two liters of water, so I had a liter in both sides of my pack. Didn't need that much water because there was rivers everywhere, and we could um, pretty easily filter water. So next time if I do that trail again, I, I won't take, um, I'll take like a liter, and that's it. On the hike out, I only had half a liter, and uh, I was fine with that. Yep, I actually do have, I mentioned earlier, I'm switching my, my straps from the polyester webbing um, with the cinch buckles to whoopee slings and dutch hooks, which uh, much lighter, saving a bunch there. And then, yeah, on my um, tarp, I have the micro cord, not the micro paracord, because paracord stretches, you really don't want to uh, to use paracord for your, for your tarps. You'll wake up the next morning and it'll be sagged. Um, it's a uh, Spectra or it's um that UHMWPE line or whatever. It's like one millimeter. So it's like super small line. Um, I have a couple different lines here that I used to use. Um, this is a uh, three millimeter night line from Blue Water Ropes. Good line, real strong line. Um, it's got the little reflecting reflector stuff in it. Um, this is Zing It junk i hate this stuff a lot of guys use it but it's super slippery 
So for me, I use taut line hitches and it won't hold the taut line hitch. Um, and if you want to do like prussics on it, um, if you do like a, a ridge line for your tarp and you want to do prussic knots on that, I know I'm probably confusing the heck out of a lot of you, but if you do prussic knots on it, it'll they'll slip. They will not hold on this thing. It so I don't. I no longer use that. Um, here's micro paracord, but again, I don't use that because it slips. Um, let me see if I can show you what's what is on my tarp. Actually, it's like it's not the lightest line. It's like 2.2 millimeter spectra, but and it's got the reflector in it. But I want to get. Um, I'm actually going to swap this out for one millimeter uh, line. So yeah, it, it might sound crazy, but you'd be so surprised once you start looking into what you carry. You know, those grams add up, those ounces add up, and all of a sudden you've got a pack that's like five pounds lighter than, you know, than it used to be. And five pounds is a lot. Um, you can start, you know, once you get so light, you can start to, you know, if you're comfortable carrying 20 pounds, for example, then you can take that pillow, you can take that extra insulated pad, you can take that extra blanket, you can take those comfort items that you know that may have been over the top before because your pack was so was so heavy yeah bank line's pretty good too i just don't like the tarred bank line because it gets all over your all of your stuff for like bush crafting and stuff i have that in my kits but i don't actually use it that much um all right so let's see we got 40 people in here i know someone's probably watching the concurrent viewers we've been up to 60 at one point on another chat so maybe we'll get there tonight Giveaway is coming soon. You do have to type in chat to get your name. Uh, just, just what happens is the bot just picks a name. And actually, um, let me get that bot going here. Uh, let's see. Make sure the bot is good and going. Let me join channel. Let's see. Close. You see if the bot's gonna join us here. <clears throat> yep, just go ahead and type something in chat and your name will be entered in. The bot automatically uh, the bot automatically will pick a name in chat. How did the outdoor live stream go? I yeah, I never did do an outdoor live stream. It get it got kinda cold, so I've been doing the indoor indoor live streams lately. All right, so let's get to let's get to um, what I got this week. I didn't get a whole lot of stuff this week. I did get the stuff for the giveaway. We'll go over that in a minute. I did actually trade for this. This is a um, Bark River Bushcrafter Two. So one of the few Barkies that I own. Um, I used to have a few more, but I traded them off. One thing that I don't like about um, uh, Bark River knives is that they're super slippery. Like, their handles are super slippery. Um, yes, the Ibex is coming up fairly soon. Probably two weeks on the... Uh... What's up, Haywinator? What's up, everybody that just joined? Um, yeah, the, the Bushcrafter 2, nice knife. It is comfortable in the hand. I like the length of it. I like everything about it. I just... You know, just Bark River's knives are a little bit too slippery for me, in my opinion. Um, but I traded it, so it was a really good trade with a subscriber. Um, I did get a couple lights from um, Folamov, Folamov, the EDC C1, oops, upside down, EDC C1 and the EDC C2. These are sweet. This is the C1 right here. See if that'll focus. This thing is two grams lighter than the focus. Focus. Whatever. It's two grams lighter than the Through Night TI3. And although I love the TI3, as I mentioned, I took this backpacking and it's an ultra light light. It's bright enough for any camp task and everything like that. You can use it as a headlamp. But the only thing I don't like is the twist. You know the twist operation. So you got to twist it, and then you got to twist it again. I just blinded you guys. You got to twist it and twist it and twist it to, um, you know, to get the functions to work. And sometimes when you're at camp, when you hear something and you just want to shine some light light on something, you know, it's nice to have a tail clicky. Well, the Folamov 
not only has a tail clicky, but it's got a lot more going for it too. It's got, um, you know, your standard modes here. So you got your, you know, your low, medium, and high. It's got a turbo mode. It's got a strobe mode. It's got an SOS mode, and it's got like this weird mode that's basically just like a pulse. Um, in addition to that, it's got the moonlight mode, and it's got the good the the good operation too. So you hold it down to get to that moonlight mode. Um, you double click it to get to your to your turbo mode. I thought you double clicked it. Maybe I'm going too fast, or maybe it's on turbo. Maybe it just cycles through turbo. I don't know. I haven't played with it enough. But it's got all those modes. It does work as a headlamp as well. And it's got um, it's got a rechargeable USB rechargeable battery in it, which is awesome as well. The only downside is that it doesn't work with the AAA. It's like every time we get close to a perfect flashlight, it's just not all the way there. And it just doesn't it doesn't work with a AAA light and the the build quality is definitely a little bit cheaper than um, say like the through night the through night just feels better in your hand it feels more quality um, than this thing this thing doesn't have any knurling so um, you know it is a little bit more slippery so so anyway so that's the, the that's the Fulamov uh, C1 and then I did get the C2. These will probably be in the same video. I told him I was just going to do them in the same video. Everything's made in China. Um, but this is the C2. It's actually a lot smaller than the um, than the Olight. But it looks similar to the little Olight, like the S1. But it's a lot small. Actually, do I have a... I probably have an Olight. Yeah. So... Focus, focus, of course it's not going to focus unless I get my hands in there, there we go, so it's close in size to the S1 baton, but it's a little bit smaller, wah, 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 wah. not as excited about this one, um, just not as excited about this one, I'm sure it's a nice light, I haven't even played with it at all, is it even yet, yeah, it is magnetic, um, haven't even played it with it at all. Haven't cracked it open. I like my nice uh, Nichia S1. Anyway, so that's an option. I'm, I'm sure it's cheaper than the Olight as far as price goes. So, but I really wanted to check out that that Fulham off. So, so I got that. I got the Bark River. Um, I'm not sure if I showed this last time. This uh, Extrema Ratio Bowler. I think it's N690 steel little scalpel here it's a little scalpel necker I've been I've been um, actually wearing this as a neck knife for the past week or so I don't generally like neck knives um, but I have to say it's light enough that I don't feel it but I, what I'm probably gonna do is I'm probably gonna take off the paracord and I'm gonna get a util clip um, and um, I'm probably gonna wear it like inside my pocket like inside the waistband type type deal with this because I love it I love the knife after playing with it and just opening stuff with it it's like surgical steel I mean that 690 is like they make surgical components with that stuff and it's just as sharp as you can possibly get a knife I mean I don't even know what I have that's like super paper thin here to uh, to cut but I mean it doesn't matter what it is it will just I mean I'm going slow too I'm not doing the quick little hashies that everybody does I can go super slow. Let's see if I can get this way up in here. I mean, I can go like super duper slow. And it's just surgical, man. It's just <laughs> ASMR cutting. <laughs> yes. Yes. That's a video idea right there. But it is just, I mean, it's like so surgical that like you, you like, you hear that? You like cling it on something and it's like uh, it's just awesome this is an awesome neck knife it's expensive but everything that's awesome is usually expensive but anyway review coming up on that it's definitely sweet not sure I like it as a neck knife um, but I'm but I am gonna get a clip for it and wear it that way 
So it should be should be pretty dang cool. Uh, that way. Kate, did you ever pick? Okay, I'm I'm picking for you. I'm picking for you. You're getting a flashlight. Before I forget. Uh, <coughs> hey, excuse me. Cake uh, Garcia. And let me check. Let me uh, catch up on this chat, man. But between donations and between going through all this gear, it's like at the end of these chats, my room is just a nightmare. Boom. Pop you right up there on the wall. Thank you so much for that. ASMR cutting. That's a great, uh, that's a great, great video idea. Cross draw on the belt. Yeah, I mean, dude, I, I'm just going to wear it inside my pocket with a util clip. If you've never seen a util clip before, those are awesome. And that's how I'm going to wear it. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, we're, we'll do the giveaway in a minute. We're going to do two giveaways, so there will be two winners. Um, they sent a few things, so I'm actually going to, going to, uh, going to split it up. What am I drinking? Fago cream. No, this is a bush light. Yeah, I believe that's how you spell it. Util clip. They come in like a two inch, a two and a half, and a three inch, and maybe even bigger than that. But it's basically just a low profile uh, clip. What's up, overweight? Yeah, Joey, I'm I'm the same. All right, let me get. <coughs> Excuse me. Some of this stuff. In here. What's up, Mark? What's up, everybody in chat? Up to 49 people. I think 60 was our highest. I'm gonna put put the barky back over there. Uh, if you guys are wondering how to donate, there is a super chat button. It's a dollar symbol. You can click it. You can throw a dollar or whatever. Get your name up on the wall. I hope this whole wall is going to be covered. I'm glad you guys like these live chats. I certainly like doing them. I'm mad that I missed. Oh, one other thing that I got this week, and I'm just going to show it to you because you guys are cool. I wasn't going to show it to you because I kind of wanted to keep it a secret because it is going to be a giveaway item. Let me pop this back here. But it's so cool. Have you guys ever seen primitive technology on YouTube? I know you have. I know you have. The guy that goes out there uses all primitive tools and he builds like the huts and the shelters. Yeah, I know a lot of you have seen that. Well, Mr. John Plant is his name. Has a book. Very, very cool book. Um, basically goes through his tools that he uses. Goes through the, some of the shelters that he's uh, he's built. So, yeah. Should be a good read. Um, they wanted to send me one. So, of course, I'm a fan of the channel. So I said, send one. And I said, send me another one to give away. So, they are... Um, they sent me two copies, and so one of these will be given away probably on next week's live stream. We will give uh, one of these books away. Yeah, millions. Channel is huge. He doesn't talk. He doesn't say anything. And he's just a normal dude. You wouldn't think he was, you know, you'd think he was like some kind of, uh, it's, it's just a normal dude. It's like his hobby. Yeah, I have so many books. <coughs> Excuse me. You saw it online? Yep, that's awesome. <clears throat> Buzzing, it's probably my phone. It's my daughter. She's trying to FaceTime me. Poor girl's gonna have to wait. <clears throat> is that what it was? It's, did it stop now? Or is there something still buzzing? I don't know. I don't know. All right, where are we at? We're at 39 minutes, so we'll give it about another 10 minutes. Let me text her really quick. Yeah, sometimes I try to do the quiet videos. It's kind of cool just to... You just try to be... You know, it's it just gets old doing the same... Uh, just gets old doing the same reviews. Uh...
Okay. Um, Shane got my eye on a few. No buzzing now. I don't know what it was. Yeah, I don't read much either, but I have like every bushcraft book, every shelter book, every tree book, every bark book, every plant book, every wild edible book, every survival book. I have them all. I just went nuts and bought them all. Yep, there's an MR2 winter camo coming out. Yeah, cutlery lovers spilled the beans on that, I think. They're probably pretty ticked at him because they get mad when you uh, when you show off product that you're not supposed to show off. I won't be doing a video on that one. I said no. They want me to. They want me to like advertise their like their flash sales, and unless I'm doing like an actual review, then you know, I'm, I'm not one just to put a, a video up talking about a flash sale. But you will see a bunch of channels doing it. I'm sure they make it worth your while. Tanner, I don't know what he's been up to, man. I, I'm going to have to send him a message or something. I haven't heard from that guy in a while. <clears throat> Weird buzz. Sounds like interference. Wi-Fi interference. Well, yeah, it could be. could be. Let me move my phone away from... Could be something with, like, the camera picking it up or something like that. Let's, uh, here, we'll message Chris right now. Let me, um... We were talking about how... How do I, uh, there's super top secret stuff. How do you, uh, maybe I just have to scroll down and try to find him. Hang on, we'll message Chris and see what he's up to. Actually, I think I have his... Chris Tanner. What should we say to him? What should we say to old Chris? Knife Aid Services. I don't know what that is. I haven't heard anything on Black Friday stuff yet. Once I do hear from it, I'll post it on my Facebook. Are you dead? It'd be terrible if he was. But he just posted a video the other day, so... I don't think he's dead. Let me see if I have his... Um, pretty sure I have his uh, phone number, too. I'm just going to blow him all the way up. I don't know how to block out his, uh, are you dead? Okay, I guess it doesn't show his number there, so that's good. Come on, focus. Focus, focus, focus. Can't see it, really. So I blew up his messenger and his uh and his phone. We'll see if he replies. Fifty one people in chat, that's awesome. We're almost there. I think I think uh sixty's the highest we've ever had. We're gonna be doing the giveaway in about five minutes. We're gonna be going over what I got for you guys to give away. Make sure you're typing in chat down there. 
What's up, Mr. Bill? Make sure you're typing in chat. Get your name in there. Let me make sure my bot is doing his job here. Giveaways, users. Two, 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 two. Let me go all the way up. Active users. Uh, reset. Why is it not putting everybody in there? Come on, man. All right, users. Regulars. There it goes. Now it's filling up. Who's the last person to type? Okay, there we go. All right, so we'll go back on that in a moment. If you guys want to subscribe, you click that super chat button with the dollar sign. Get your name up on the wall. Mr. Tanner must be sleeping. What's up, Tom? What's up, Billy? Hey, Bill. Uh, Mr. Fote. Fote. Mr. Fote. Fote. Oh, he messaged back. Let's see what he said. It's a typical Tanner reply. Not yet. Yeah, make sure you click that thumbs up button. What's up, Gene? What's up, Josh? What's up, Twitch? Tom, if I didn't mention your name, what's up, everybody? Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Let's see, we're at 46 minutes. We'll, uh, we'll do the giveaway in like five minutes. Mm. I wear that shirt all the time that you sent me. Uh, Anthony, there's a MSR Solo, the Zoic, I think, MSR Zoic, that I think I'm going to check out. And then there's a super lightweight, again, Cottage Vendor is pretty much where you have to go for lightweight stuff, um, made out of the Cuban fiber and all that. Um, Six Moon Designs. I'm looking at their Lunar Solo, which is a pretty dang, uh, pretty dang sweet uh, tent. Z Packs makes a you know their duplex or whatever it is that's sweet. There's a couple other uh, tarp tent makes a uh, I think it's called like the One or something like that. So there's a lot of ultralight. You know, people say it's ultralight, but unless you're like down around 10 pounds, it's like with the hardcore backpackers it's really not considered ultralight to them i don't know no i don't know what that is it's like not a shiner but it's like it's like my daughter scratched me or something yeah i got knocked out i got knocked out chris is gonna wonder what the hell i texted him for and didn't didn't answer back but oh well i'll talk to him in, in a minute haven't reviewed any coleman gear no Coleman gear isn't the, isn't the same stuff it used to be. Um, hammock over a tent, uh, just kind of depends. I kind of go back and forth. I like, my hammock is crazy comfortable. I like my quilts. Um, <coughs> but I sometimes like a little firmer sleep uh, in a tent with a nice pad. You have a Z-Pack Cuban fiber? Yeah, they make great stuff. Old, old Coleman was great, yep. They do. They still make some good stuff. It's just, I didn't say, you know, I didn't mean they don't make good stuff. It's just not the same as it used to be. Not the same quality at all. Like, their tents are crap. I probably wouldn't own a Coleman tent. They just fall apart. Um, you know, they're, I have, they're one of their new lanterns. Their little propane lanterns, it works. Um, their little stoves, you know, like their camp stoves that flip up, like the old school whatever camp so I just got like busted up all over the place um you know they work they work good they work good for sure fall winter EDC carry vid I'm working on it working on that this is definitely going to be included the uh extrema ratio necker this thing is sweet 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 and it's tough there's actually a review of somebody batoning with this thing (coughs) 
Rav Power that you got from me off a couple of years ago, but just burned out. Be sticking with Anchor. Yeah, I haven't done any Rav Power in a long time just because I have so much Anchor stuff and it works fine. But they they do burn out. I mean, you know, if you if you if you're using it constantly like I do, you know, those cells only have so many cycles. Yeah, they did go cheap Walmart. Yep. Kafaru Tut Fullerless. That's awesome with the stove jack. What's up, Daryl? All right, guys. So who is ready for a giveaway? Who's ready to see what we got for today's giveaway? Let me clean some of this stuff up here. All right. So I broke this up kind of... Uh, I have not tried the LRI Proton Pro. Haven't tried that, no. Nope. Um, Alright, so I got a couple different items from uh, Exotac. And uh, so I kind of divided it in half. So it's just the way it's going to be. Um, the first winner, I'll let you choose which... which uh, Uh, should I do the okay I'm just gonna separate it into two and the first person can pick that bundle or the other bundle so basically for our first bundle um, there is a Titan light this thing is awesome um, I got my Titan light right here I have not refilled this thing since I got it and it still is just going strong I mean I don't smoke or anything so I don't use it all the time but it goes in my little uh, pack with me, and anytime I'm lighting a fire or something like that, I'll use that. So these things are super sweet. So that's going to be combo number one. Uh, it's going to be a Titan Light, and then their free key system. So it looks like they sent uh, their free, free key slim, which basically comes with a main ring. Get that to focus. Comes with the main ring and then a bunch of small rings there. Stainless steel, you don't have to... <coughs> excuse me. You don't have to pry with it. Then they also sent one of their little... These uh, magnetic... <coughs> geez. These magnetic quick releases. And this is a 380. I can get that to focus so it's basically you can put something on this side put something on that side and then it's held together uh, with a magnet <coughs> I believe <clears throat> I've got mine right here this is the free key and then that just pops off Get it back in there. Focus, focus, focus. Anyway, does not come with a car key. So that's going to be package number one. The uh, Titan Light and the Free Key. Package number one. All right, and package number two is going to be their Rip Spool. This is like their brand new product, one of their brand new products. I'll try to open this here without, without ripping the thing. There we go. Come on, baby. All right, so what their rip spool is, it's pretty cool. It is a spool. It's got a bunch of duct tape on it wrapped around it and then it's got some I believe it's braided fishing line focus you piece of crap there we go I think it's got some braided fishing line on it and then on the inside it's got a o-ring so it's waterproof so you can put like probably like a paper clip or something in there but it's got a sail needle on the inside so basically what it's for is it's just a it's just a, a a fix-it kit, sort of. You can see how much tape is on there. It's actually a bunch bunch of uh, tape. 
Uh, it uses like Zippo lighter fluid. Yeah, right, Josh, I know. So that's the rip spool. Pretty cool new product from them. And then with that is going to be the Nano Striker XL. Whoops. So it's just one of their little Nano Strikers. If you haven't seen these before, uh, let's go into my, go into my drawer of tricks here. This is what it looks like. It'll focus you. Focus, focus, focus. Anyway, um, it unscrews. Then on the inside you have a ferro rod. And then you can take this other part here and unscrew that. Then you can screw the bigger part back onto there. And basically what you have is a ferro rod and a striker. So zip, zip, zip. You got your ferro rod and your striker all in a cool little waterproof case. What's cool about these two is you can replace the, uh, the ferro rod. You can buy replacements for that. It's got a little threaded end on it. So you can buy replacements for that and it screws back in there. So then to take it or to put it, see if it it's hard to hold it and focus it at the same time. Focus. Wants to focus on my thumb. So then you just take it and turn it back around. Screw that in back into there. Screw the tip back into there. And you can you can put it like on a key ring or you can put a piece of paracord on it or something and wear it, you know, around your neck or put it in a little kit. So pretty cool. Um, so that's that's package number two. Rip spool and a nano striker. I keep doing that. Nano striker XL. So we're gonna spin for the name here, the first name, and the first person that gets picked can pick whichever package they want. The first one or the second one. What's up, Chris King? Alright, so to be in the giveaway, you gotta type something in chat. We got 59 people in here. Our highest is 60. So we're close, but in order to be in the chat, you've got to be active within the last 15 minutes and you've got to be in chat. So if, even if you've been here for a while and you haven't typed something in, make sure you type something in there and it's going to go ahead and it's going to add any name in there that isn't on the list. Right now there's 40 people on the list. Um, and so it's, yeah, it's not adding, there's 41, so someone just typed in there. That wasn't on the list so if you haven't typed in the last 15 minutes make sure you get a, co a comment in there because that what that's what the bot is going to pick from I'll let you guys chat here for another uh, minute or two yep good luck to everybody <clears throat> 43 now so somebody else that just typed hadn't typed in the last 15 minutes Forty-four. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna draw. Ready? Here we go. For the first one, first package, and make sure somebody pays attention to chat because sometimes it flies. Well, actually, it'll tell me right here. But uh, here we go. Three, two, one. Roll it. Maureen. Maureen Leahy. Related to Mr. Leahy. So let me get my chat back up here. Maureen Leahy, right there, Nightbot. Put it in chat. So if you are here, you are here, I see you. Let me know which package you want. Do you want the Titan Light and the Free Key System? Or do you want the Rip Spool and the uh, Fire Striker? Which one would you like? And congratulations for sure. I'll wait for her to pick in chat there. The first bundle. All right, so she took the Titan Light and she took the Free Key. So I'm going to put your name on this stuff. Make sure you send me a message, not through YouTube because I probably won't get it. Make sure you send me a message um, 
uh, on my Facebook or on my Instagram. The tags are up top right here. Facebook is just facebook.com slash living survival. Instagram's living survival YouTube. I don't use Twitter so that often, so don't use that. Um, and then I just have a way that I'll verify you, verify your uh, YouTube account, and I'll get this on the way to you. So let me write your name on here. Maureen A H Y. All right, so congratulations. Now, if you're picked again, you're you can't win twice. So, but you are in chat, so there's the possibility that you would get picked again. All right, so we're gonna roll again. Make sure you got those names in chat. If you haven't typed in the last 15 minutes, make sure you type something in chat. Let me make sure the bot is picking people up. Yep, 47 people, 49 people. 49 people, 50 people now from what it's going to pick from. And there's 56 watching, so I'm pretty sure we got pretty much everybody that wants to chat anyway or that can chat. All right, so we are going to roll again. Let me, uh, how do I clear this out? Restart giveaway. All right, let me try this again. Here we go in three, two, one. Tom, Tom Wenghart. You are lucky winner number two, my friend. Tom Wenghart. Make sure that he is in here. Make sure you type something in chat there. Mr. Tom. So that I can write this down. You see his if he has typed anything. Hasn't typed anything yet. Make sure you type something in chat so I know you're still here, Tom. I'm sure he is still here because there was like 53 people in in the pick thing. But Tom, I'm going to give you a minute or two to say something in chat. You got to be here to win. Yeah, we'll give him a minute to say something. Tom Wanghart, there he is. Woohoo! Awesome. All right, so same thing applies. Make sure you message me on Facebook, message me on Instagram. I have a way that I will verify that it is you. You get bundle number two, the Nano Striker and the Rip Spool. Very cool, I almost kept this for myself. But I figured why not just give it away. Um, so yeah, I don't even have that. All right, Tom. All right, so then I'll need your guys' addresses, and I'll get that sent out this week. Just over an hour, so we're going to go ahead and leave it at that. I appreciate all you guys. We almost got up to 60. We may have been to 60. I just didn't see it. Uh, another cool giveaway coming next week. It'll probably be the Primitive Technology book, um, and I'll probably throw something else in with it. Uh, but that's the way it goes here on the live chat. We go over some stuff that uh, that I got this week for review, answer questions, and uh, any questions that you might have outdoor and survival related. Today we went over my ultralight uh, backpacking uh, kit there, so hope you liked that. Took a look at some cool products and did a couple of cool giveaways. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the chat. I appreciate everybody that has donated. If you donate anything using that super chat button below. You get your name on a sticker up on the wall. As weeks go by, hopefully we fill this whole entire wall up. That would be fantastic. Everybody that chooses to support the channel, thank you, thank you, thank you. You definitely do not have to support the channel to be in my giveaways. All my videos are free to watch, so I appreciate everything that everyone does to, uh, to help out the channel. So with that, uh, yeah, have a great weekend, everybody. Uh, hopefully you had a good time. Make sure you click that thumbs up button. These chats are usually saved. They usually take a minute to process, and then um, they will go live on my channel. So I should be here again next Thursday at 8 p.m. So I will see you guys then. Take care. God bless. Hope everybody has a great weekend, and thanks again, guys.